Corrine, another one on Garage Gate. What is the White House trying to hide? Nothing. Someone gave the president a statement to read on Tuesday that was incomplete at best, misleading at worst. Who? So I have read out the president's statement. I have read it out yesterday and what he said. He said that he, will, he respects or he takes classified information and documents very seriously. That's what he said. He said. So we have laid out laid out uh, what has occurred here. You've, you know, we take this very seriously and the president does as well. Do you acknowledge that the fact that the White House did not reveal this to the public, despite the fact that you've known about it for months, undercuts the president's promise of being transparent with the American people? But we, but here's the thing, they were transparent. Not there was there people. there was transparency in doing what you're supposed to do when these when these items were discovered. Not with the American people. Look, we I am here standing in front of you answering these questions, right? The president took two questions this week on this. You've heard wait, let me just answer. And we have laid out very clearly what occurred. And so I would just refer you to the Department of Justice. And now, as you all know, there's a special counsel dealing. When will the White House release a log of visitors to the Wilmington House? You know, um, Peter, you've asked this question, or as your colleagues have asked this question before. Let's not forget uh, what we did here in this White House. We instituted something that the last administration got rid of. So the American I mean, people the got Wilmington to see Wilmington House, where again, there is potentially again, unsecured, well, classified ag material. Again, I am telling you, we did something that the last administration got rid of, which is instituting the White House logs. Uh, did you ask the last administration why they got rid of the White House logs? I was okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Well, the Fox. Did? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We have the records for the Del Delaware residents. Oh, I'm sorry. I was calling the gentleman who wanted to ask a question that was not related to this. Go ahead. Thanks, Karen. I appreciate it. I know I'm a little behind the news cycle here, but I want to go back to yesterday's uh, op-ed from the president on big tech regulation. Uh, so speaking of taking that seriously, uh, this is the kind of thing that caused government employees to lose a security clearance. This is a serious matter, as the White House has said. Uh, was the president sloppy in his handling of classified material if there are multiple locations where classified documents are being found? Look, I said this in my, I said that in the statement. It's in the statement of uh, uh, from his lawyer, Richard Sauber. And at the end, he said, we are confident that they are a thorough review will show that these documents were inadvertently misplaced. And the president and his lawyers acted promptly upon discovery of this mistake. I'm going to leave it there. That's what his lawyer said. But again, this is something that the president takes very seriously. And we have been uh, coordinating. They have been coordinated. On Tuesday in Mexico City, all the conversation was about the documents in the office. However, according to the Attorney General, documents were found on December 20th in his garage in Wilmington. Why was that not immediately addressed? Is the White House being transparent about that if that was already known and not discussed up front? So, just to, you said transparent. I want to say that we have been transparent here. Uh, that is why the minute that his lawyers found those documents, uh, they reported it. They reached out to the archives. What he did and what his team did is the minute that they realized uh, that the documents were there, uh, they reached out to the archive process. So why did you fully describe the documents when we were firstly asked this week? Because what, what? and I and I actually answered that question. I said because there was a process uh, happening that was currently ongoing, and uh, and I'll refer you back to my comments that I made. And one more, just because much has been made of, of the differences here between the way you all have handled these these documents and the way that the former president handled documents that were taken from the White House. Uh, when the FBI went, the FBI sorry Garland said when the FBI went to the location being the president's residence uh, and secured these documents, did the FBI just retrieve documents or was there a search of the residence? Again, I, I'm just not going to go into the particulars or the specifics of what the Can you shed any light on how the documents got to these places and why? Again, there's an ongoing process. It's being reviewed. Uh, don't have any, uh, don't have more to share. Does the White House think that the appointment of a special prosecutor was warranted? I'm not going to get into the decisions that were that was made by the Attorney General. I will say this, and you've heard me say this many times before, uh, this is a president that believes